Sawyers here with Mike Weymouth, the president and CEO of the Las Olas Company. Mike, it's so great to see you. It's great to see you as well. So tell me about this great hotel. I've been a resident of Fort Lauderdale most of my life. Tell me about the Riverside Hotel. Well, this great hotel was hatched by, I'm the fourth generation running the, the hotel, so it was hatched by my family predecessors. Uh, the first section of the hotel was actually finished December 16th, 1936. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it opened a great fanfare because we had inside plumbing. I so um, needless to say, it was very popular. In fact, it was so popular that we added on after the initial three floors, we added another section of six stories more of hotel rooms. Um, and so we stayed like that until the early 2000s when we built the 12 story towers and today we're 231 hotel rooms. That's fantastic. Yep, we've got uh, about 12,000 square feet of meeting rooms. We've got two full service restaurants. One of them is the boat house here right on the river, Beautiful which is restaurant. perfect for the boat show. And the other one is Wild Sea, which is inside the, inside the hotel. So we've got, uh, we've got a lot going on here. Well, speaking of the boat show, you know, we, it's near and dear to both of our hearts, me being in the business and you being in, in hospitality and retail. Um, I want to talk about the impact that, that uh, Informa is the, uh, the producer of the show, the Marine Industries Association of South Florida is the owner of the show. They do a great job, a great partnership of putting on the world's largest in-water boat show in the entire world. So how does that boat show affect Mike Weymouth and all that you manage? Well, I'll start by saying I'll, I'll give a big shout out. Uh, Kay Pearson was somebody that I knew oh, yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, spent time with him obviously before he passed and uh, and I have always always personally loved the boat show as it relates to the business the boat show in the hospitality industry is equivalent to having a Super Bowl every year it is an absolutely huge impact huge impact we're sold out a lot of the people a lot of, the, of our guests they rent rooms and they have private meetings before during after the boat show um, a lot of them wine and dine the, the clients, as you well know, everybody that comes to this boat show are high net worth people. Absolutely. Uh, they're not coming to typically buy your 20 foot boat, but they're <laughs> here to spend $20 million. So we, we welcome them and it is just a wonderful week for us. Well, thank you for welcoming our guests that buy boats from myself and other people. But let's talk about the out of town factor. Um, it's half of our boat show guests are from out of town. What makes this hotel special? So the big difference that we promote ourselves with these people coming in from out of town is we're not a beach hotel. So uh, we have the water taxi that picks up directly adjacent to the hotel and takes them directly to the show and then brings them back. The beauty of what we do, what we have at our disposal here is with Las Olas Boulevard, We've got shops, we've got restaurants, we've got art galleries, we've got the Performing Arts Center, we've got everything down here. So when you're done with the show or you don't go to the show every day or whatever, there's a plethora of things to Absolutely. do. Absolutely, it's like a destination, if you will. It is. So you brought up Water Taxi. Water Taxi plays a big role in, in, in Forma and the boat show, producing right. the boat show. Um, their carbon footprint is about reducing the amount of traffic that gets to and from the show. Is there a place here that they can come in and get picked up and go to the show? Yes. So we work closely with Bill Walker and, 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 and actually a lot of other partners who are trying to get people to the show as quickly as possible and painfully as, as pain free as possible. And so we open up, uh, we've got seven stories of parking that are attached to, the, to wow. the hotel. And so between ourselves and some of the office towers downtown on the weekends and, and a lot of surface parking lots, there's ample parking all day parking at reasonable rates and and then obviously our capture is they hopefully come here before or after they go to the show for a couple of drinks and or during a meal. too and well and during <laughs> too yeah 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 so uh bill walker's uh, water taxi is very important to us well good it's 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 a great benefit not only to you um but to the community as well we really um look forward to having that ease of transportation in between the different locations of the show. It's been wonderful. So let's go on the retail side. Okay. You, you mentioned such amazing group of, of you know, types of, of stores and restaurants. Is there one in particular that you actually love more than, more than the other? I can't say that. <laughs> That's a good answer. I can't say that. It's like, it's like picking your favorite child. Right, exactly, exactly. So, so let's talk about your, your team here. 
um, you know, as a boat show attendee, what can they expect, I mean, from your team members here? Well, it, it depends on what level you're coming in. If you're just staying in, in a room, again, we, we try to offer the best service we can. I've got a seasoned general manager who is so hands-on and always uh, entertains the client, if you will. He's a very entertaining individual. Um, if you're putting on special uh, events where you may be hosting a whole bunch of people for, for dinner or breakfast or lunch, we have a whole different department that handles that and they make sure that that gets taken care of. And then we've got the meeting rooms and if somebody wants to do something before, during or after, we've got a whole another set of people that help accomplish that. Well, great. Well, I have to tell you, the Boat Show thanks you because a lot of the success of the Boat Show is the community that surrounds us. Well, we've, we've worked very closely with Phil Purcell at the uh, Marine Industry Association. Mm -hmm. He's just a, a wonderful ambassador for that, that whole show. And, and um, he stays here actually quite often, and, and we talk quite frequently. And a lot of times it's about the show. There's some other things we talk about, but we talk <laughs> a lot about the show, and we want to be good community partners with him. Excellent. And well, Informa. Well, we appreciate you, and we appreciate all that the Las Olas company does for the boat show. Thank you. And thanks for your time today. My pleasure. So the, so the hotel, Mike, is right on Las Olas. Yep. Las Olas Boulevard is at the forefront of fashion, food, art. Give us a little like story on Las Olas Boulevard. Well, Las Olas back in the day was more services and over the years um, we started buying stores because we started recognizing that people like to shop when they're on vacation, especially you know back in the 40s, 50s, 60s the hotel was closed in the summertime and a lot of the stores and a lot of the same stores would go up to Cape Cod or up to Michigan or something like that. But we started recognizing that the stores were an important and integral part of it and the hotel was an important part for the stores as well to provide people for customers. So that is kind of the impetus of the whole thing. It has since evolved into what you see today. And fortunately for us, you know, because we own a large portion of it, we can control our own destiny with the, with the portfolio that we've got. So um, we'll have spaces go vacant for a long time because we're waiting for the right tenant, especially when it comes to um, restaurants, because restaurants, uh, we don't want to turn into a restaurant row, and we feel that we've got a pretty good balance with the number of restaurants yeah, that we do right now. And the other thing that we do for our tenants, and we don't do it for our tenants, we probably do it more so for ourselves, is we don't um, duplicate any restaurant tours so that we're not cannibalizing our own guys. Um, ultimately, if you put two of the same restaurants in, one of them's gonna fail, and if we're the landlord on both of them, that's not a good Absolutely. situation no, for us. That's very respectful of you. So yep. the boat show, all these retailers love the boat show. They love when you know, it's like our version of the Super Bowl, October 26th to the 30th, and then obviously before and after a few days. How does the boat show impact all of these businesses? Well, it's a natural fit for the boat show in Las Olas. Um, Las Olas is not a place where you go and, and, and find um, deep discounts or knockoff stores. They tend to cater to the high net, net worth, worth individuals. So you know you can look at some of these stores, uh, the art galleries, some of them don't sell anything less than $10,000. There's a, wow. a, a great store over there called Daniel's Antiques and he's got all kinds of old um, telegraphs and all kinds of neat stuff in there. So there's, it's, it's, it's an eclectic area. Well, it's definitely a must-see for anyone post boat show or even during the show. If they want to take a break, have a nice meal, head back to the show. Yep. Highly recommend Las Olas Boulevard. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for giving me a little history of, of the boulevard, and and we look forward to it being a success during the boat show as well. We appreciate the boat show being here and keeping the success coming. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you.